Yes, welcome to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, in today's uh, uh, video, let us look at Donald Trump. Donald Trump has made history yet again, re-elected as president of the United States in 2024. He enters office not only with the, a divided nation, but also with several high-profile uh, criminal and civil cases still roaming over him. So what happens to these cases now that he is president-elect? Trump's legal challenges are unpre unprecedented as the first U.S. president elect to face ongoing criminal charges, including a conviction in New York over hush money payments trump's situation is unlikely anything we've seen before let's break down the key cases and what could happen next first up his new york case trump is said to be sentenced to november 26th for 34 counts of falsifying business records re related to hush money payments during the 2016 campaign but will be actually be but will he be actually be sentenced judge juan mekan has a crucial decision to make due to a recent supreme court ruling on presidential immunity the judge could wipe away trump's conviction altogether if the conviction stands Trump's legal team is expected to appeal, potentially delaying any sentencing until after his inauguration in January 2025. Now, let us talk about the federal cases. Trump has been charged in Washington, D.C. for his efforts to overturn the 2020 elections and in Florida over mishandling classified documents. Trump has openly stated that he plans to fire special counsel Jack Smith, the prosecutor behind these cases, if he is sworn in. Once in office, Trump could dismiss Smith, possibly halting the federal investigations against him. But legal experts suggest that uh, the Justice Department might resist creating a unique constitutional battle over the limits of presidential power. And then there is Georgia. Trump faces a recall case brought by Fulton County DA Fan Wills over alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election. But Trump's win could complicate the case, especially since state level prosecutors have never had to handle a case against a sitting president. Finally, let's not forget Trump's civil cases. He faces lawsuits from E. Jean Cole over defamation claims and massive uh, uh, $454 million fraud judgment in New York related to his business dealings. Unlike criminal cases, civil suits can proceed even while Trump is in office meaning he could be facing courtroom battles throughout his presidency. Trump's re-election creates a legal landscape we've never seen before, from criminal sentencing to civil suits. This presidency, prom this presidency promises to be filled with legal drama. How will all this impact his ability to lead the country? Only time will tell. Now, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more updates on Trump's Lego battles and the latest in U.S. politics. Drop a comment below. Should a president be immune from prosecution or let us know what you think in the comments below. Breaking news. Donald Trump is projected to win the 2020 for presidential election. Returning to the White House after defeating Vice President Kamala Harris, this historic moment marks Trump's comeback to the highest office, making him the second U.S. president ever to serve to non-consecutive terms. Trump addressed his supporters, promising a golden age of America and focusing on economic reforms and immigration policies. He also celebrated Republicans' projected control of the Senate, marking a major shift in power in Washington. With CNN's projection, Trump reached over 270 electoral votes, largely thanks to a win in the battleground state of Wisconsin. Meanwhile, 
Kamala Harris is expected to address her supporters later today. Trump's victory could have a significant impact on international policies, especially on the war in Ukraine throughout his campaign. Trump questioned continued U.S. support for Kyiv, which may lead to a reduction in American aid. This comes as Ukraine faces increasing pressure from Russian advances in the eastern Donbas region. Republican leaders have praised Trump's win. House Speaker Mike Johnson stated that with Trump back in office, no challenge is too great. Senator Lindsey Graham even called for an end to ongoing federal investigations into Trump urging a fresh start. Stay tuned as we continue to cover live updates on the House and Senate races, and what Trump's return to the White House could mean for America and the world.